No shame for brave losers Juventus. No shame in losing to brilliant Barcelona for brave Juventus. Juve may have fallen short of a record-breaking treble in Berlin, but the club has nothing to be ashamed of after another gallant display, writes Chris Folks. It was a gallant effort, but in the end Barcelona was just too good. Since Juventus turned around its fortunes four years ago and began collecting Serie A titles for fun again, the lack of progress in the Champions League had been the only stick left with which to beat it. This season, the club finally returned to the very top level of European football, it was just a shame that Luis Eric's side has worked its way into a whole new stratosphere. The 3-1 defeat in the Berlin final will not go down as one of Juve's better performances. Too many players took too long to get started. At crucial moments, they too often arrowed shots straight at the palms of Mark andre to stage rather than truly testing the German. A normally durable defence was at sixes and sevens for long stretches too. But the wider picture is a brighter one. The Bayer I have given their all this season under Massimiliao Allegri and it took a brilliant Barcelona side to prevent them from walking off with an otherwise deserved treble. As was the case for Manchester United in 2011 when the Blagra last lifted the Champions League trophy, they can have few regrets. For the 13 minutes between their equaliser and the killer second goal by Luis Suarez, Juve was not just level. The Serie A side was in control of proceedings. The Biacorai had Barcelona scrambling. They were showing that when the Catalans don't have the ball they can be left chasing shadows. But nobody keeps the ball off Barcelona forever. Allegri has confounded critics, not least among the Juventus fan base, to lead his side to the biggest stage. Alvaro Morata, who netted the Italian's equaliser has developed from a dangerous substitute to a European star. Players like Carlos Tevez, Archer Ovidal, Leonardo Bucay, Claudio Marquisio and Paul Pogba might not have covered themselves in glory in Berlin, but they will look back on 2014-15 as huge moments in their careers. There were tears shed by Juventus players young and old at the end, but they can be dried quickly enough. Nobody gave them a hope at the season's start, and a return of two domestic trophies and a major European final is a success rather than a failure. Questions will be asked as to whether this marks the end of the cycle for this Juventus after the club selected the second oldest lineup ever to compete in a Champions League final. But there are plenty of reasons to be hopeful not least the fact that silencing critics has fast become par for the course on the road to Berlin. Juventus came so near, and it took a magnificent Lionel Messi and a wonderful Barcelona to beat it. There is certainly no shame in that.